What's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Okay. Now, uh, I have a 10 kVA uh, before me and uh, the reason why we have it, we want to find the remote signal for this engine. Okay. So previously we did a video, um, uh, you know, on components, you know, on changeover switch. And then you guys requested that you want to see practically how a uh, changeover crank this engine. Okay. So, but before we do that, uh, you'll ask me where, where do we connect that cable on the generator. All right. So, we can see that real quick. So, this is uh, 10kV. It's a packing uh, with a controller power wizard 2.1. Okay. Now. This controller, it has the quickly, uh, three button is here, so you have red for stop, you have uh, yellow for remote, then you have green for manual. So green will crank the engine just here, there and then, and then uh, yellow will be for remote. Okay? Alright. Now, uh, let me just turn on the ignition switch. Okay, I have some arms here. All right, now this engine is on. So if I crank it manually, it should crank. Okay. All right, now. That's manual, okay, and we will shut it off. So now, let's see auto. Now, for it, sorry about that. Now, for it to run auto, if we have to put it here, okay? So we have to put it here. Then that means that if we give it a signal, then it will crank, okay? Okay. But before that, this is the inside of the panel. Now, before you do this, you need to have a manual, especially if it's a, a generator you, 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 you've never interacted with before. Uh, this is a parking, maybe you can be interacting with uh, maybe an Iveco, uh, maybe an FG Willison, you know. Uh, you can be directing the Volvo, you know, it depends on a brand, okay? All right, so, uh, when you have the manual, right here, and these connectors you're seeing here, on these connectors, it's where we have to get our connector, okay? Now, according to manual, uh, those who are interested in the manual, I'll upload it on my website. Uh, and the link will be in the description, okay? All right, so according to the manual, if you look here, we have uh, terminal number 5 and terminal number 24 is the remote start, okay? Now, if we short terminal number 5 and terminal number 24, if we short it permanently, it means that every time you press the yellow button, the generator will crank, okay? The generator will crank all right so that's where your two wires goes to the changeover such that if the power goes those two wires are short and the generator will crank okay so let me just show you what i mean by that now i'll just put my wire here on switch off Okay, so I've uh, put a wire in terminal number 5 and number 24, so that's the short I've done. Now, if we come here, 
Ignition key on. So right now we are in stop. If we press the green button, it's manual, it will crank. But now if I press the yellow button, the remote, it will crank because I've shot the signal. Okay? So you see? Okay, so that's how this generator gets its signal um, when it's in the auto mode. Okay, and I'm just going to pull out the wire, and the engine is in cool down. Okay, so just in case your power is back. All right, so I'm just going to switch it off. All right, now, this is just the same on all the generators. It's only to identify the areas. In fact, uh, most of the engine, if you are in a control panel, they will show you the remote start, okay? They will always indicate uh, with a tag, remote start. Now, we, like this one, it has numbers, but on those numbers, you will definitely know by reading the manual, okay? I'll leave the link in the description to my website and you'll find your manual uh, right there for those who are using uh, Pakinis. Okay? Hope that helps. And if it does, uh, please don't forget to subscribe, to like and share, and sharing those people whom you think that this kind of content, yeah, maybe you can learn something out of it. Until next time, I'm out.